long time since I've done an Eagles vs Games and I'm going to do a special one now all about my old Quake maps because I've started a new website it's crankyrabbit.nz it's uh, primarily about my DJ work and what's actually happening is I <coughs> am also because of the way I've uh, purchased that uh, hosting I've got plenty of space to host some of my other governs like my zines and uh, well my Quake maps and I'm looking at getting my old comic up there as well having it all in one place as opposed to scattered across the void also if anybody wants to know well what did uh, Rob do between 1997 and 2004-2005 I made Quake maps under the name Fat Controller nowadays I seem to be out of control but I'm still fat and anyway uh, let's go to Quake Spasm Check. Yes, you have Quake. God, I love this game when it first came out. It was the first truly 3D game, as opposed to, uh, say, Duke Nukem 3D, which is actually 2.5D, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's what I wanted. It doesn't matter because I'm going to type that map. I start, my first map that I ever released, and I was so proud of, was. Uh, what was it called again? Oh yes, Coming Out Party, 1998. First attempts at using Worldcraft. <laughs> nobody there. Or at least nobody I can see. So, I suppose when you look at it, you've immediately got a puzzle to solve. That one. And you can see out <laughs> this window to a distinctly queer looking structure. How do we get out of here? And there's a custom texture, that's cute. This way up. There's a uh, north center. <laughs> and you can't go anywhere. If you want to because Razor got what? Come what Razor was. Heaven only knows uh I mean that devo's right out now. I wasn't God I wasn't goit. I was so pr proud of it. It's obviously a razor dog one. Anyway, uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Yeah, probably not a good idea. See, silver tin, got a bit of lots of my care base here and a bit over there and basish but miss but messy. Heaven only knows how you get through there. Instantly. Right. Oh, yeah, great secret work. Not sure how I was supposed to. Uh, I can't remember how I just did that. <laughs>
hell was I thinking? Dark spots, you can tell that I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And you can also tell by the way I'm talking that I can't remember how I did anything in there. See, there's a bit of bad dodgy brushes so fine. <gasps> spot somewhere. <laughs> so that's how it works. Originally, when I made it, uh, what did that do? Notice that too? No explanation of what that did. Let's go have a look. Sometimes you get stuck in this <laughs> funk train and it's called the Freighter Freighter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here. So, obviously. <laughs> Oh, 
Obviously, I was just using the. Whoops, not going in there. things and it's obviously a secret not a very well kept secret but a secret nonetheless I was so proud when I made this yep there it is a silver key card <laughs> you get the idea. The impression is that of a
shouldn't have done that, but there's a bit more to it. Because if you did manage to get to the end, it would uh, go straight to RC3. Doom! I had a lot of fun making this. I had a lot of fun. Let's see what the bike got in here. Think of that. to deathmatch maps and made a few more of those. Like RC DM1, that's what I started with. This is Grodman's Area 8, that's what I called it. And as you can see, it, I didn't think it through very well. Because I started doing it with a sort of coppery style. Actually this is what I started with. This Rust and Peace inspired hallway. Which uh, as you can probably guess was about as far as my inspiration got, and I thought, how am I going to tie these together? I don't know. Octagons. Octagonal. <laughs> this is um, the ancestral domain. So uses a lot of the darker textures that uh, Zasora came up with, like this black metal banding and the black riveted metal. I'm still using those initials. So I obviously didn't know what the hell I was doing. Doing, but at the same time, this is a bit more. It's a bit more fun, doesn't it? I mean, this room is a lot different from this room. It's even more <coughs> looking at the um what's a fun play? Where do I put oh yeah, teleport. 
underwater so to help you get out. Always nice. But at the same time, I made the mistake of uh, not really dobbing everything together very well. So if you get the uh, nail gun, you know the nail gun. And if I remember correctly, I think I can. You have to go underwater to get the rocket launcher. It's the most overpowered weapon in the whole arsenal, particularly for deathmatch. And what came after that? Oh yeah, the packed lunch. Yeah, that's right, I called it the packed lunch. Kill me. I was obviously trying to do it in the pack style. And had a vague idea. This texture looks a bit greenish compared to the other one. I don't know why. It just does. It's actually supposed to be a... Supposed to have the... Banding line up with... The angle of ports. Now, hang on, can we go back here and know something? That's where the yellow armor was, so you walk through here and you come out in front of a blooming yellow armor. So huh? there was somebody could hog the yellow armor and basically have an unfair advantage of everybody else. Not well thought out that, obviously. Thought out that, so they're not very inspired either. Things are weird though with RCDM4. I got this. Uh, texture pack somebody put out and as you can see we've got the uh, sort of bombohedral business but it's all very light very sandy and very brown high contrast I sort of fell in love with it and made this uh, arrow walkie thing three tiers so there's one this is the main atrium where a lot of the book goes down that's a teleport in case you didn't know so as soon as you spawn in the centre, you can race off and get the rocket launcher. This is a texture I did myself, obviously. We've got ammo scattered around rather than concentrated, which is also good. And so, very quickly, you could get the rocket launcher and armor, armor, and if you were really good at jumping, jumping at speed, you could get the quad damage and super nail gun. It's not very good. Mm. Then again, it was, I think I designed this for... Mm. One versus one. And it probably is best for one-on-one. -on -one. one. It's not bad. Not good, but it's not bad either. Uh, later on, I would... Redo it with glitch. So here we are, we've got the, um, we've got uh, one place here, you have to rocket jump over to get the, get the ring of shadows to allow you to tour around and basically raise hell, so that's one atrium, there's another atrium, with the rocket launcher and the yellow armor and all that, da -da 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 -da. obviously I'd uh, made a few extra textures while I was otherwise occupied, and here's atrium number three, with a regular armor and rocket launcher combo. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. The yellow squares you might have seen, <coughs> indicate where, <coughs> indicate where teleports come out. <coughs> so that teleport spits you out about where that Yellow square is, there's a mega health in the middle. Not a bad one, I think I designed this for bigger fights. So, there's the mega health area. Yeah, it could be a bit sloggy, but I don't really know. Greater Spader, another title inspired by music I was listening to. In this case, in that case, Baltus. Boulder Space, and also I think um, one of Peter's most recent ones, Cunning Plan I think it was. So this is one of the atria, mm. as you can see it's very square, very basic. 
basic game is called uh, War on it. So if I drop down here, go this way, there's a middle tree to go either way, we come up to the front thing, and a rocket launcher. Sweet. So you get a rocket launcher, but you can get another rocket launcher and a red armor if you're willing to take a risk. Namely, you're stuck in here for several seconds. Number seven. Ah, I remember this one. War is peace. Level one. Atrium one. Phase one. Sticky's concrete textures. A rocket launcher in a mass of confusing tunnels. Freedom is slavery. I don't know why I got that. Did all the 1984-ish business. I think I had a uh, vague idea that this was the place where criminals were sent to fight each other to the death for the entertainment of the pros. Otherwise, I don't think have sod all to do with it, but there was some lovely moody uplighting and one thing or another, and uh, Teleports the other end, along with a few other fun things. Now, I'm going to have to try and remember how you get up here. You should be able to get up on the... My brain died yesterday, so we've got that to store of black metal. We've got rogues, Mayan textures all over the shop. And uh, we've got teleports indicated by bloody symbols on the wall. So if we go down to the bottom again, which is here, it's actually three atria with a, just one winding route that climbs all the way through it. And as you can see, it goes uh, up a bit and it uh, goes up, see down, see up, see down, see. It's a one versus one. And apparently it was actually considered quite a bit of fun. Probably because I wasn't trying to be pretentious or anything. And we go around here. An easier pipe, an easier pipe bomb dispenser. So, and up at the, so you can click, basically go all the way to the top and the easier, easier uh, zapper. What fun that was. And it was just thinking, I want to make something, but don't think too much, I was starting to think too much about it, so I thought, stop thinking and make. And later on, I used Kevin Johnston's uh, textures for one of, one of his texture packs. This one heavily inspired by uh, 1984. This is uh, Mortal Simplex, which is for a competition, the theme of which was, make something based on the Doom Devil Dead Simple. Let's see if I can damage because I can't remember how you get it. Something like <laughs> that wasn't it. Yeah, so basically I just made a rather plain except for these wonderful arches. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> and then you injure yourself. And basically what you do is you go round and round in circles, killing everybody. Teleports always spit you out up the top. Nothing special about that. I would later revisit it for my last deathmatch map, RCDM 10, Skunkworks, which was uh, two, no, three levels again. Um, very rectangular. In fact, I used it as used its uh, this layout as the inspiration for Contranto's uh, mine. Mines level, which some people say was not a good look. And this one had a bit of a backstory to it. It was uh, a punishment arena for people who were naughty. And naughty against our friend the president. And they get locked loaded into this and made to fight to the death for the amusement of, well, the amusement of the crows. Mm. So it's, 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 it's 
to uh, fall into. Do a wee bit of upsy downsy as, as and when. <coughs> and a quad damage. Which is a to get to. for bigger bigger crowds and uh, some doom converted doom 2 textures and, uh, actually looking at all those uh, maps makes me think of how enthusiastic I was back in those days. I actually had a bit more belief in myself that I do, than I do these days. I've actually downloaded uh, Trench Foot and thought maybe I could make some more Quake maps. I mean, I managed to find uh, Q1 Rad or some similar. Yeah, it was Q1 Rad, which is a lighting tool that simulates radiosity lighting, and I tried using it and it was kind of cool. Especially since it was made in the day of uh, coloured light maps. As you can see, all of these maps here have just white lighting. Because that's what I had at the time. When I first started making these maps, I was using a compact Rosario with uh, 32 megabytes of memory, which I installed uh, for the warranty. One core and a 1.6 gigabyte hard disk drive. I actually own an iOmega Zip, would you believe? Anyway, that was then, this is now, and you'll be able to find them at crankyrabbit.nz slash quake. I've actually uploaded the most of the files already, and plenty of screenshots, I did that in the four hours stint last night. So, you can play them, you might even have some fun. I'm going to find out what I did with Omicron bots. Anyway, that should do it for that should do it for this.